Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you this cool tool that I found made by Continue Rake, which allows you to rake and add vehicles to your Unreal Engine 4 project. So using it, I was able to add this Cybertruck into my game. This tool is made for Blender, so you'll need to make sure that you have that. So first, you want to head over to ContinueBrake.com so that you can download the add-on. And make sure you check out his content. He's got loads of great stuff on how to set up vehicles in Unreal Engine. So once you're on his website, you want to scroll down and then click this U4 vehicle rig on rigging add-on for Blender, so just click on it. And then just click the direct link and then install it. And then just place this somewhere on your desktop. Next, we're gonna look for a car that we're gonna rig. So to do this, I just went to Sketchfab and then I looked for a Cybertruck. You can also make your own car model if you want to. I just went by downloadable and then this one. So I think this is the Cybertruck model I used. So just download that and then put the add-on on your desktop. So I have the UE4 vehicle add-on on my desktop and the next thing I'm going to do is install it to our Blender. So if, to do that, just open up Blender, then go to Edit, Preferences, then Install, and then select wherever you placed your file and then click Install Add-on. And then we want to look for it, so rig, and then just check it so that we know it's active. And then we can just close this and set it up and rig our vehicle. So the next thing you want to do is either create your vehicle or import your vehicle. And when you import it or create it, you wanna make sure that your vehicle is in front of the x-axis. So we can see this by this little panel and we can see my vehicles in front of the x-axis. Then once you have that, if we just click N or you can just click that little button here, then we go to the U4 vehicle thing. Next, you wanna click set unit scale and then click upscale objects. Okay, uh, I'm not sure why that didn't work. But I found if I just click on it and then click upscale objects, it will upscale it and make everything fun. So next you need to select the different parts of your car. So there are five different parts. There's the body and then the four wheels. So for vehicle base, I'm just gonna select the body. Then it says the wheel front right. So I'll just select the front right wheel and I'll just do this for all of them. So the rear, the rear right wheel and then the front left wheel and then the wheel, rear left wheel. Then once you have all of that, you can just click the rig vehicle button and it'll rig the vehicle. Then we just need to export it and get it ready for Unreal Engine. So to export it, just go to File, Export, go to FBX, and then here, we can just select Mesh and Armature. And then for the Ford, we just wanna select X Ford and then Z Up. So Z Up. And then for smoothing, you wanna make it Face. And then you can just click export. So I'm just gonna export this to my dashboard and it's called truck. So I'll just click export FBX and now we're gonna set it up in Unreal. So next we wanna set up our vehicle so it works in Unreal Engine. So I'm just in one of my projects. I'm gonna create a new folder for my truck. I'll just call this truck. And I'm gonna import my truck model here. So I'll just drag it into the folder and click import. So once your model is imported, you wanna head over to your model's physics asset. So we just double click and open it up. And then we can just select all of these and delete them. Then you'll head over to the options and then click show, show all bones. Then for the root bone, you just wanna select it. And then here under tools, we just wanna uncheck the auto orient bone. And then we wanna change this to be a box and then click add body. Then if we select all the width, select all the wheel bones so I'm gonna hold down control and select all of them and then for primitive type we want to select sphere and click add bodies so this will be the physics collision for our vehicle so next we want to set up the wheels for our vehicle so to do that we want to right click go to blueprint cast under all classes we want to look for vehicle wheel so vehicle wheel and then select it and then I'll just call this my trucks wheels. Then we just double click and open it up. And then here under the sphere radius and shape width, if you go back to your blender model and we just go to object mode and go to item. So we can see the dimensions in the X are 50 and in the Y. So you want it to be half of the X and half of the Y. So if we go, so mine's 551. So I'm just gonna make it 25 and this is like 20, so I'm gonna make this 10. So I'll just leave it like that. So you want it to be half of the ones in Blender. 
Once we have that, we can just close this down. So next we want to set up the animation blueprint for our vehicle. So to do that, we're going to right click again, look for animation, animation blueprint. We're going to select the vehicle and the instance, and then we're going to select the truck skeleton. So select the skeleton of your vehicle, then click OK. And I'm just going to rename this my vehicle animation blueprint. And then if we just double click and open it up inside, once we're here, we want to right click and look for wheel handler for, for vehicles. And then we can just plug this into here and it'll generate this component to local. And then we want to right click and look for mesh space ref pose and just plug this in and we set up the animation blueprint. So next you'll need to go to your settings, project settings and set up. So these are going to be the controls that we use to control our vehicle. So for this project, I think it's set up. So when I move forward, I can use W or S to move forward. So to move right, I can use A or D and I can use my uh, mouse to look up and I can use my mouse X to turn. So you want to set up those input bindings. So next we want to set up the Blueprint Actor so that we can play around and move around in our truck. So to do that, we're going to right click, look for Blueprint Class. Then under all classes, we're going to select, look for Wheeled Vehicle, just select it. And I'll call this my Cyber Truck. Then we double click and open it up. Under the mesh, we want to just select the Truck Skeletal Mesh. And for what's Anim class, we just want to select the Vehicle Animation Blueprint that we made. So I called mine Vehicle Animation Blueprint. So just select it. Then under the Vehicle Movement, so this controls the, how the wheels are. Under Wheel Setup, we just want to click this. Then under Zero. And we're going to change this to be the, the truck wheels that we made. And then for the bone name, so this is going to be the specific wheel it's going to be referencing. So if we go to our mesh and just click this search, and I'll just open it up, we can see that there are four bones, and each of these bones will control how the wheel. So if we go back to our cyber truck, we're going to select the appropriate name. So the names of the bones are rear left, rear right, front left, and front right. So for the bone name, I'm just going to make this one my front left wheel and then we're going to, under one we're going to select truck wheels and then I'm going to make this my front right wheel and then we're going to select truck wheels again and then I'll make this my rear left wheel and then we're going to select truck wheels again and I'll make this my rear right wheel and then for the rear left and rear right wheels you want to disable steering so that the wheels at the back don't move like the ones in the front then to this component, we're going to add a component, add a spring arm. I'll just stretch this and add a component. And you'll add a camera. So this is just so that when we possess it, we can see the truck and actually see it. Okay. So then if we head over to the event graph, we're going to set up its controls. So I'm just going to delete this. And then I can have when I move forward. So this will be what you called it. So when I move forward, I'm going to get my vehicle movement and then you'll look for set throttle input. Plug this in. When I move right, I'm going to set steering input and just plug this in. And then drag in your spring arm. And when I look up, I'm going to add relative rotation, right click on this split structure, plug it into the Y, and when I turn, so when I'm turning my mouse right, we're going to just copy this, plug it into the Z, and just compile, and then if you go to the side track, where it says auto plus I, Sorry, where it says auto possess player, just select player zero so that when we put it in the world, we instantly become the truck. So I just put this in, click play, I'm my truck, and I can move around. So now we've set up our own vehicle in Unreal Engine. What is it? For the mouse, um, it's a bit weird, so I'm just going to change it. So if I head over to my input, when you're the vehicle, you want it 
the mouse wire to be one, as it'll just be a bit more smooth. So now I have this vehicle that we've set up. So that's how to set up a vehicle. There's one more thing I forgot to say. So if you can see, when you're driving really fast, you can see the wheels get really blurry and it's hard to see. If you want to stop that from happening, go to the settings, go to project settings, and then uh, go to all settings, and then we're just going to look for motion blur. And then just uncheck it. So when the wheels go fast, like it won't look really blurry now. So that's basically everything. If you enjoyed, uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.